Hey guys, uh, Colby here, back again to give you guys a little bit of advice and some things to think about during your time socially distancing. Today I'm going to bring to you another little tidbit from Dale Carnegie's Golden Book. Um, I continue to come back to this thing every single day. It's just got some really good stuff to, to help us get through this, this crazy looking time. Um, today's piece that I want to share with you is cultivating, the title of it is called Cultivating a Mental Attitude that Will Bring You Peace and Happiness. Wow, what an awesome title. Uh, cultivating a mental attitude that brings you peace and happiness. I feel like all of us could use a little bit of that right now. Um, so a lot of it seems super simple, um, just like everything else in life, everything is easier said than done. So to actually taking these things and putting them into practice um, is a whole nother story, but I just wanted to share these with you guys today. So number one is fill your mind with thoughts of peace, courage, health, and hope. Uh, there's a, a saying, a, a very e like well, well known saying, but it's not typically um, connected with happiness and peace. And that's fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. That same thought process can be applied to peace and happiness. Um, fill your mind with thoughts of peace, courage, health, and hope. Um, again, like I said, it sounds a lot easier than it actually is, but choosing to think about the positive things, choosing to think about the, the good things that are going on right now instead of choosing to worry. Number two, never try to get even with your enemies. Right now is a probably a really, really uh, obvious and simple time for you to maybe make some connections with people that haven't been so hot over the last couple of weeks, over the last couple of months, over the last couple of years. Now's a, a really good time that you get to reevaluate some of those things that you said or those decisions that you made or the feelings that you hurt um, and, and go back to those people and make some, make some amends, make some amends. We, got, we all know that we got lots of, lots of time right now. Three. Expect ingratitude. Now I'm going to ask Liz to kind of help me out with this one. Ingratitude, if I think I remember correctly, is not expecting gratitude. Expect to not receive gratitude. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, so Liz is, Liz is in agreements with me. Is the expectation to not receive gratitude from someone else. Um, the There is a very obvious expectation that is put on everyone in a time like this that that where there is such availability for connection that we have this expectation of connection from friends from family from uh, workplaces from uh, social spaces from all of these other things that this expectation tends to lead us feeling like we're missing something that expectation isn't being filled. So here's what to expect. Number three, expect ingratitude. Number four, count your blessings, not your troubles. This is a really, 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 really easy one for us to get out of the dumps and the, and the low places right now. For so many of us, the gratitudes that we can pile up far, far, far outweigh what's actually happening right now, the troubles. So start to talk about those things that you're grateful for. Number five, do not intimidate others. We've heard a lot about this, um, at least I have from the gym's perspective um, of fear marketing versus abundance marketing. There's a lot of people right now who are, are capitalizing on the fear of what's going on with this whole uh, COVID-19 and, and this whole um, attitude of things going on. There is this, this tendency to intimidate others into doing things. Number five, Dale Carnegie says, is to do not intimidate others. 
I would probably take that a step further and, and do your best to encourage others. Number six, try to profit from your losses. Uh, again, this is a, a really easy thing to say and, it's, and it takes a lot of mental power to try to profit from your losses, to say, okay, this is what's happened. What can we change? What can we do now from what has happened? Don't worry about the losses as losses. The past is the past. Remember, we, he also asked us to live in day tight compartments. Take those losses and how do we make them uh, something that's a win for the day, a win for the week, a win for the month. Number seven. This is one of my favorite ones. Create happiness for others. It just gave me goosebumps. Um, this is something that's so in your control and your ability to do is to create some happiness for others. That can be done in so many different ways. Uh, creating happiness can mean a phone call with somebody who hasn't been chatted with. It could mean a comment or a like on their Facebook or their Instagram. Um, it could mean a FaceTime call with an old friend. It could mean uh, a thank you letter that you write by hand to somebody who needs a thank you letter right now. But there is thousands, literally thousands of ways for you to create happiness for other people right now. These seven things fill your mind with thoughts of peace, courage, help, and hope. Number two, never trying to get even with your enemies. Number, number three, expect ingratitude. Number four, count your blessings, not your troubles. Number five, do not intimidate others. Number six, try to profit from your losses. Number seven, create happiness for others. And in Dale's words, this is a way to cultivate a mental attitude that brings peace and happiness. Try to focus on these six things in the next few days, in the next few hours. Um, shift your mindset. You're going to enjoy it.